Welcome back to the MBTI card games update. And today we're at it again at Starbucks with our, our fourth. This is our fourth work session. Yes. Yeah. And um, last night we've been talking a lot about what we want to add to the back of the card because Ploy is a is an illustrator, right? And you do a lot of is it watercolor or acrylic? I do both watercolor and acrylic. Yeah, and um, so you draw a lot of animals. And do you want to show? She Just brought her sketchbook. You <laughs> took your the price tag off. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> like a boat. Yeah. <laughs> colorful. Show this lot. This cute. Oh, this one I copied from somewhere else. Yeah, like she draws a lot of animals and um, also I'll uh, just turn the camera around. This is her Instagram with a lot of colorful animals. So we're thinking that maybe Floy can illustrate the cards and like we were trying to pick each animals that would best represent each of the letter preference. So what do we have? What did you come up with? So monkey for the E, um, rabbit for the I. Maybe like explain your reasoning a little bit. Uh, <laughs> monkey because it moves all the time. You should help me explain. But you came so up with it. So in front of the, com the camera. Uh, the rabbits because they are usually scared of loud noises. That's very odd. For sensor, what did we choose again? Uh, the hummingbird, because they are really, uh, they are the s symbol of person moment. The giraffe for the end, because they have long legs and they are known for being far sighted. Owl for the T, I think that's obvious. Yeah. yeah and uh, the seal for the L, because they're so cuddly and cute and love to be with. Uh, the J is the B, always buzzing. And the last preference, which is the P, we chose the butterfly. Yep. What's yeah. the word we yeah. were talking about? Yeah. I was thinking because Floyd well, thought we should use the B for the J, which is good. So I was like, oh, what about butterfly for P? Because then it's like you stop to smell the roses along the way and you're not as workaholic <laughs> I guess <laughs> yeah so that's what we have and we are also trying to come up with animals for the cognitive functions version which we want them to be all different so stay tuned for the update